Hi, honey. Hi. Um, we're back, by the way. Uh, yeah, we are. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Sorry about the delay. We kind of got um, fatigued this last weekend. 50 hours of mostly not sleeping. Yeah, because someone had to pull overnight shifts. Heather. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, don't be sorry. Body is still recovering. Right. Anyway, so... We watched a Will Will Wheaton movie. Well, slow your roll. First off, we watched Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets last night. And decided we didn't have anything to say about it. I have one thing to say about it. Yes? It continues the story nicely. Right, yeah, okay. Anyway. (laughs) But tonight, we... Started watching Charlie Bartlett, and I said, and starting, I don't have the... I don't even think we got 30 seconds in. No, we didn't. <laughs> like, not... Nope. Can't handle dead teenagers right now. Nope. Oh, spoilers, there's dead teenagers in Charlie Bartlett, guys. I don't know anything beyond that, because I didn't bother to read anymore, and you don't have to tell me. Okay, no, we'll get to it. Um, so, we watched The Last Starfighter. Which is, in fact, a Will Wheaton movie. He is credited. Uh, he is? He is credited. As like, Even though he doesn't speak at all. And you hardly, hardly ever see, see him. And you can barely kind you of make out his You can make face. out his pencil neck. Yes, the neck. That pencil necked dweeb. Because he's got a neck that goes on for miles. A neck that goes on for days. Yep. He has necks like women in noir stories have legs. Yes. That is exactly it. That made sense to you? Yes. Okay. And in fact, I believe we watched this movie the first time together because it was a Will Wheaton movie. My How the Times Have Changed. Yes. Anyway. Well, no, this was... I think this was pretty early in our relationship. We watched this back at The Blaze. Right, but it, I was don't... Was it because of Will Wheaton? Or yes, I believe... Or was it because of, holy shit, The Last Starfighter? No, I think it was because it was, like, in his IMDb or something. Mm-hmm. But I distinctly remember the whole reason why we watched it was because it was listed as a Will Wheaton movie. Whose idea was this? Probably mine. Okay. Like, I wasn't... You weren't hating Will Wheaton at the time. In I fact, wasn't. I think we were both still watch- following his wife on the Twitters. Yeah, she's she's still worth following on the Twitters. I don't follow her anymore. I stopped following when I pared down. Well, I think my one Twitter still follows her. Okay. Oh, just one? That's adorable. One of my more than one right. follows her. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why... <laughs> Anyway, so, The Last Starfighter. With Will Wheaton. I think... No, I, I believe... <laughs> I believe that we started watching this because you made me watch The Music Man. And then you made me and watch And I this. said, holy shit, it's Centauri. And you're like, Centauri? Which I ha- and I said, yeah, The Last Starfighter? Which... It's one of those things, like, I didn't realize Jerry Orbach was in Dirty Dancing, Mm -hmm. despite the fact that I had seen it a million times, but there had been a long enough span between when I had seen Dirty Dancing and I'd fallen in love with Law & Order. Right. And with this, I mean, I watched The Last Starfighter as a kid. It was one of the movies that we rented all the time from the movie rental place. yeah, in my family as well. I think we might have taped it off of HBO or something. Yeah. I I don't remember having a legitimate copy of this. Right. And so the time between when I was avidly watching The Last Starfighter and when I became an avid musical fan... Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Pretty long time. Was long enough for me to not put the two together. Right. And so this time, watching it, Mm -hmm. all I wanted was him to bust into song. Because I feel like you get the, the, not the same performance out of Robert Preston, but it's, it's like, oh yeah, hey, it's, it's Robert Preston. It's the rhythmic speak. Uh Uh-huh. Which I don't know if that's how he's in all of his stuff. Presumably. I mean, there was no... 
there was no singing in this. No, but he very much so was just like, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, uh-huh. and then you were just like, where's the music? And we're, he calls him my boy, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The only time someone calls someone else my boy is when they're about to break into a song. When there's trouble. Trouble, 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 trouble. Trouble, trouble here in Silver Lake? Something like that, yeah. Here on Rylos? Well, I mean, they did have some trouble on Rylos. <laughs> they did. Let's be honest. Yeah. So that was that was hard for me, because I really wanted... Yeah, and like... I it... want the last Starfighter the musical. Copyright, trademark, all that blizzard ass, it's ours. <laughs> yeah, but Robert Preston's dead, so... Yeah, it's true. And this was his last movie, it turned out. Right. And he, yeah, died like a couple years later. Yeah. Of lung cancer. And oh. then you think, wait... Lung cancer, and then you've got to look at his face like, oh yeah, he smoked a lot. Yeah. That man smoked. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so. I'm so sorry. No, it's alright. Are you apologizing to them? Something, 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 dose. Honey, you never need to apologize to me. Right. No, seriously, that's part of the uh, the wedding vows. The contract. Yeah, yeah, something like so that. So there's two things about this movie today. Uh-huh. That you picked up on? Well, not that I picked up on, but, you know, mm-hmm. that relates to my universe. So I do this other podcast. I am a cast member on another podcast. Yes. Called Redshift, which is a sci-fi radio play kind of mm-hmm. thing. Anthology and, show. So, is that what it is? Yeah, it's a little bit like... Um, you know, radio dramas meet the Twilight Zone. Right. Outer Limits, Twilight Zone. Sci-fi radio program. Right. Like old-time radio. Yeah. Um, and the first episode that I was lead, that I'd had a lead part on, was based around this video game, you know, you play the video game, you, you go off and kill Ruskies. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, Polybus? Yes. And so I was thinking about that. But then the other thing I was thinking about is I know you don't watch Friends. I actually avoid watching Friends. But there is a story arc where Joey is in a play and he starts dating his co star. No! But she is also sleeping with the director. So then. Somehow, I think either he has to choose or she has to choose. I can't remember what it comes down to. But she decides that she's leaving, and so she comes to the play, and you see... And it's it's a... Uh, it's supposed to be like an emotional drama. It's a love story drama play. Mm-hmm. And she's breaking up with him during the play. But how it ends is... A ladder comes down, Joey gets on the ladder, and then has to go up to space, and then it lifts. It's just the most ridiculous, out of, you don't expect it, it's, you know. Okay. But all I can picture when they're (laughs) getting lifted up at the end and they're waving goodbye is Joey in this really stupid play on Friends. Uh Uh-huh. I did not explain that very well. I, I'm sure it would make more sense if I had seen the episode you're referring to. Probably. And it's okay. I don't want to see it. Joey plays a bad actor, and therefore he only gets now, roles in is bad plays. Is Joey a bad actor, or is Matt LeBlanc a bad actor? Joey is supposed to be a bad actor. But he gets roles. So he can't bad be that roles. bad. Bad roles. Okay. A bad actor in New York doesn't get any roles. Joey is getting roles. Also, somehow, a waitress and... Wasn't he on a soap opera on that show? I know too he much was about on days. Friends. He was on Days. Yeah. Yes, but somehow an unemployed girl and a waitress can afford a ginormous apartment just off Central Park. I I don't want to speak more of, on, about Friends. Because none of it makes sense. <laughs> okay. Yes. That just blew my mind. Friends will do that. No. Uh, Dan O'Harely. Uh-huh. Um, Alex's co-pilot? Grieg? Yes. Grieg? Oh, 
Uh, he was the old man in RoboCop. Drink. Right? Like, oh, I... Like, I, I didn't recognize him, because, like... He's wearing makeup? Uh, he's wearing a lot of makeup. Full face prosthetic. And then it's, oh, Jesus, that's who that is? That's badass. Yeah. The mom was in a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. She's on Star Trek? No. Is she on Star Trek? Mm-hmm. I think she was on Star Trek. I think I looked at her trivia, and she was on Cop Rock. Again with the Cop Rock. <laughs> it's a thing that existed. It's a thing that existed, so therefore, it's something that everybody needs to know about. See, now I'm just assuming that, because I've never met anyone else in the world who's heard of Cop Rock, that you made up Cop Rock and were, like... So, she was the so m- willing to put time into it that you invented this TV show that took place in the 80s. 90s. 90s. And made an IMDb page for it. <laughs> made a summary for it in episodes. Made the mom on this in this movie a mayor. Yeah, like, threw people in. Like, uh, like yeah, hey, were you on Cop Rock? Like, <laughs> we go- yeah, I, I guess. Yup. I don't believe Cop Rock is a thing that actually exists. She was also on 103 episodes of Hill Street Blues. I believe there were 103 episodes of Hill Street Blues. <laughs> you don't believe there were 11 episodes of Cop Rock? I don't believe there were any episodes of Cop Rock. I think that is a thing you made up to try and convince me of something. Because it's you're the evil dumbest, or I'm crazy. Because it's the dumbest concept ever. Well, like, okay, if it was 1982, I'd be like, that's not a great concept. I mean, you've already got Chips, and I think Fame had a TV show. But no, no, you said this was the 90s. Like, 1990. Nope. No. No. In what must have been one of the shortest-lived series on network television. See, that's the kind of thing you would write. Cop Rock was part Real Stories of the Highway Patrol and part The Sound of Music. Two of your favorite things, chips and musicals. <laughs> Again, I'm pretty sure you made up Cop Rock. Nope. Dear listeners, if anyone would like to send us a DVD, oh. hell, I'll even take a videotape, because I'm sure we could rustle up a v- uh, VCR, of Cop Rock. Uh-huh. I got nothing. You can come and watch Cop Rock with us. I guess. We could make a day of it, you know, just binge the whole series like it's a Netflix thing. Right. And then say, guys, cop rock. But no, it doesn't exist. But you know what does exist? The Last Starfighter. That is true. I really liked this. Stop. Stop that. This is the theme to Cop Rock, by the way. No, it's not. That's like one of Randy Newman's worst songs. <laughs> it was so bad it was unreleased. You had to, like, steal it from him somehow. Cop There's Rock a, is not a thing that's real. They have a homeless song. Of course they have a homeless song. Anyway. So, I love how it also suggests, from the Cop Rock theme, mm-hmm. right, like, underneath it is the David Duchovny song. That is how real cop rock is. Get out. Get out of my house. <laughs> anyway. So. <laughs> I don't think I ever actually watched it. I just know it exists. Well, and we have this Blu-ray on loan from my brother, which I think he said it was five bucks, but it looks real good. What, this? Yeah. Oh, we're back to the movie? Yeah, we're back to the movie. Like, they spent $15 million on this movie. Yeah, and but in like, 1984 money, I can see it. Yeah. But, like, even even with, like, the, the remastered Blu-ray, like, this this looks good. Like, they, in the, in the they same, used good equipment to make this movie. In the same vein that Tron holds up. Mm. If you believe Tron holds up. <laughs> I want Tron to hold up. <laughs> it doesn't. You and not Timothy both want this to hold See, up. See, Tron had, Tron like... Up. Well, I suppose Disney wasn't making all of the bank. 
Mm-mm. Yeah, before... Well, that was, like, 82. I mean, Little Mermaid was with, brought him back from near Brink. This is the first movie to do all of the special effects except makeup and explosions. Because words. On a computer. All shots of spacecraft, space, and etc. were generated on a Cray XMP computer. Yeah. It was... It, I'm going to say for 1984, the special effects existed. Uh-huh. They don't hold up great, but I don't think that they anyone thought they were going to. I don't think anyone thought, you know, in 2017, <laughs> when, you know... Two she, assholes get together to do a... To hash out their weekly argument. Speaking of assholes, did you notice that it was only the little brother that swore? What the shit, Lewis? What the shit? Yeah. And the one thing I have never understood, and I didn't understand it then, and in 84 I was... Eight? Yeah. Um, You would have turned eight. Lewis's uh, Playboys? Yes! How old is Lewis supposed to be? Like... 12 or 13, maybe? Okay, so I could understand, like... You know, discovering sexuality and scoring some playboys from an older friend. Right. Or a friend's older brother or something. But, like, that, it doesn't move the narrative. My dad kept his Jessica Hahn playboy in the bookshelf in the living room. Who the hell is Jessica Hahn? Jessica Hahn slept with that preacher guy. Just one? Yeah, he was a, a televangelist. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that one lived in our um, bookshelf in the living room. I, I bet the articles were pretty good. Meh. I mean, they, they had good writers. They could probably afford to pay them with all that titty money. Dad bought it. Well, you at a gas station or like at a bookstore? Frack, if I know, I just remember going for the, like the Civil War history book and right next to it all of a sudden there was a freaking Playboy and it was in our living room. Honey, you're the youngest child in your family. You can you can use bad words. You can say things like shit. Jim Baker. Tammy Faye Baker? His husband. Okay. That's what broke up their marriage. Cheating? Well, and all their m- money embezzling or whatever. Oh. But, yeah. So, there's that. But I... And this goes, you know, to my... Was there an actual point to this, and did it move the story along? It didn't. Like, we established that he had Playboys, and it was sort of used as blackmail against him when Alex and Beta Alex are... Right, but they... Like, arguing? I think it would be just as successful Mm -hmm. without actually having to see the Playboys. Yeah, I concur. Like, it, it didn't add to the movie at all. So, because when they said, we'll tell mom about your Playboys, then he goes back to fake sleep, mm-hmm. that is well, if, guilt enough for you to know that he has Playboys under his bed. Yeah, and we also, I mean, that it's a credible threat. Yeah. And I don't know if, if necessarily showing him with his Playboys were... Also, the cover was probably real, but I'm sure the inside was just blank pages, because... Who's going to give an actual Playboy to a, you know, child? True. I mean, they still had laws in the 80s. Some. I don't know if they had, like, all the sense in the 80s, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, for a sci-fi movie, this is actually pretty funny. Well, it kind of... I understand it came out the year before. Mm Mm-hmm. Back to the Future? Back to the Future. Yes. With the gull-winged DeLorean. Right, but there was a lot of that, because Back to the Future was a lot was that way, too. It was a mm-hmm. campy sci-fi flick. Mm-hmm. And there seemed to be, like, Star Wars references mm-hmm. in this. Or nods to it. Right, and then instead we're just going to take it to the, the comedy side versus the drama side. Right. And it was, what, an hour... This one? How long? Was uh, an hour and 40 minutes. Yeah. I mean, you, there were probably a couple minutes you could have trimmed if you were really looking to. Yeah. But, like, there's... It wasn't too much to cut. Yeah. 
the scene at the lake with Beta mm-hmm. mimicking Rapey Guy. Yeah, I mean, I that went to establish how just out of touch he was with how humanity worked. Right, and putting him in a place where he can get shot. Yeah, I mean, that too. And then Mag's like, what the hell? Like, no, we're not going anywhere until you explain. Like, listen, I have been shot. I'm bleeding green. I'm bleeding green stuff and, like, computer parts. This is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I'm not Alex. Yeah. It's time to go. This is not a come with me if you want to live. Because clearly you don't. Right. Listen. Yeah. You have more questions than I have time to answer, and none of my answers are going to be good. Yeah, this wasn't, like, did not have an un- overabundance of mm-hmm. story. No, but, like, but it's all, also, all those scenes were good. Yes, but it also wasn't the, we've got toys, Tron mm-hmm. movie. It, it wasn't a tech demo. Right. It was a guy had an idea for a narrative. Yeah. And made it an hour and 40 minutes. Right. It wasn't a heavy story. Mm-hmm. You know, lighthearted, had the comedy aspects to it. It passes the Bechtel. Huh? She asked about the picnic basket? No, at the beginning, when the ladies in the the mobile home park were talking about how, like, Elvira's electrics were out. And she was going to miss her stories? She's going to miss her stories. But then also... And there were several women talking back and forth. Mags asked... Asked. Asked. About the picnic basket. Yeah. With Alex's mom. Mm Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, these are... Has Will Wheaton throwing footballs? Like, the jock that he is? Yeah, right. I wonder. There's There's not many drinks. No, well... The only one he can't drink for is Lance Guest, because he's on the cover. He's right. the only one on the cover. Right. At least on the movie poster. But, I mean, obviously we drink for uh, for Robert Preston. Right. And Dan O'Harely. And what is Lewis? What has Lewis ever been in? Not much. Oh! Oh? The guy, K.E. Couture... Um, he was the, um, the head honcho in the white beard for the good guys. Uh Uh-huh. He was in Guys and Dolls. Oh, gross. Remember the time you made me watch that? I'll make you watch it again, because I like it. We already recorded the episode on it. We don't have to watch it ever again. I love it. Oh, I'm so sorry. What? I, I, mm, you know how I feel about it. What else was Catherine Mary Stewart in? Because I feel like with a name like Catherine Mary Stewart, we would have recognized her from more yeah. things. Weekend at Bernie's. Hey, That's we watched it. that movie. She was Gwen in Weekend at Bernie's. Oh! <laughs> that, That's cool. We should have done an episode on Weekend at Bernie's when... Weekend at... When, uh... You have a thing at Bernard's was yeah. going on. Huh. Masquerade at Bernard's. Oh, yeah. It's good to know. What else do we have? Well, Barbara Boston, the mom. Mm hmm. Um. Who's she in? She was the one who was on Cop Rock. <laughs> I'm gonna say that doesn't count. Just because you don't believe it doesn't mean it's There is true. no reason for me to believe it. It's not my fault. Yeah. Lewis's friend, Will Wheaton. Will. Oof. Lance Guest does not age that well. No. No, and he sort of stopped doing stuff, so. No, he hasn't. Yes, he has. Um, Traces comes out this year. No one ever said it came out last year. He did a couple things in 2014, 2012, 2010, 2009, 8, 7, 6. He's just not getting a ton of work, which means he's probably just doing a lot of stuff on stage. Sure. That's... Or he's dead. Is he dead? He's not dead. Okay. So, he's working on the stage. 
There you go. He's working on a stage uh, upstate. Uh, he was on two after school specials. Oof. ABC after school specials. That is a that is a different podcast to start. Yeah, it is. So. That's maybe not actually a bad idea. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Do after school specials matter? No. <laughs> no, they don't. Very special blossom. Alrighty. Are we ever going to watch this again? I have no problem watching this again. Okay. You? Sure. Awesome. Uh, did you say it passes diversity? No. I mean, there were several aliens. Well... The guy who owned, ran the park? Yeah. Who was super supportive of Alex. What was his name? He was good people. Mm-hmm. He was also black. Yes. <laughs> I don't see his picture. Did we ever see, hear, hear his name? I don't know, but he's not on the... the not on the front page for the IMDb. Nor is he deeper with pictures. So that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so passes back to Wallace. Yep. Passes diversity? Yeah, it does, for the most part. I mean, I don't think that his blackness really contributed too much to the story. No. But, I mean, he was a black character. With many speaking lines. Yeah. Oh. All right, I'm going to take my allergies to bed now, okay? Sure. <laughs>